Alright, so basically, um, I did an unboxing video of the Iron Cobra double bass pedals, <clears throat> and then I realized that, um, I left out a lot of important information about these pedals and stuff that people should know, um, if you're going to buy these pedals. Um, so, the first thing that I would like to mention is that, um, uh, some very special people gave me these pedals. And I would like to thank them again for getting them for me. Um, I really appreciate it. And uh, these pedals are going to go to uh, good use. And um, I'll be using them for a long time. <clears throat> First thing I'd like to say about these pedals is that they are really heavy duty. And you're going to get a lot of power into your kick. And they're, they feel really heavy duty and like they're not going to break but very smooth at the same time very smooth um one of the main reasons why they feel really smooth is because they have this cobra coil underneath the pedal which uh returns the kickboard back to its original position faster which allows for faster playing and it's on both the slave pedal and the main pedal um it was very easy to put put together uh yeah you don't even you don't need to look at the instructions <coughs> excuse me um you don't need to look at the instructions really to even put this pedal together at least i didn't but i mean i've had one other double bass pedal before and i just whipped this thing out and put it right together like it was nothing so shouldn't be too hard to put together for anybody um it also comes with uh, some instructions if you do need the instructions um, and some extra bolts and um, a couple of allen wrenches right here um, let's see oh and um, this is a iron it's a pretty heavy duty um, all black iron cobra carrying case so you can carry your uh, pedals in to gigs and shows and whatnot, um, and it's really, <clears throat> really nice. And it even has a picture right here of what your pedals should look like when you um, put them in there when you want to carry them someplace, so you don't forget how to put them in, which is really nice. Um, also, there's a handy little tool down here um, on the slave pedal. I believe it's called a tom. It's called a uh, Tom a hammer and um it has a regular drum key and then a allen wrench and then another different size allen wrench and this will um allow you to pretty much um adjust anything on your pedals and the drum key will also you can also use that for tuning your other drums on your drum set <clears throat> so that's um really nice and it just fits down right in here and this little thing on your um slave pedal so you never lose it um yeah you can use this to um adjust anything pretty much on your pedals all these little things to um extend your uh your your um drive um to your pedals <coughs> um you can also customize how you want uh, the angle of your beaters, which is really cool, I think. Um, most other pedals, you can't do that. You can um, adjust it back here with this little uh, thing, uh, which you can stick the drum key part of the time of hammer into, to adjust the angle to make sure you're getting the right um, hit, I guess, on your bass drum. Which is really nice. Um, uh, you also have, just like on most other double bass pedals, thing right here to clamp down onto your bass drum. Um, yeah, overall, really nice pedal. I'm going to recommend it to any drummer, um, beginner, intermediate, or pro. Um, definitely going to last a long time. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it in the comments below and also
also rate and subscribe because I'll having I'll be having um a lot more drum videos, unboxings, etc. Um yeah, if you have any questions about the Tama Iron Cobra dual bass pedal, I'll feel happy to uh reply to your uh, comments or questions. So yeah, this is an uh kind of an unboxing on the Iron Cobra double bass pedal.